what's going on YouTube everything's been going pretty fast here in the fish room here to give a little tour it's not much just a bunch of stuff I've got cobbled together over the past year and a half this is some endlers probably can't see them I've got the air cranked up pretty good this is the call tank for some of the shrimp Some of those still look pretty good. All my water changes and stuff back there. I've got a sump and my hose. Gas logs I don't use. Here's the shrimp tank that's been in all the other videos. Had it fed them this morning so they're not out and about yet. But there's a bunch in there. There's cooler. <laughs> that submarine, the way the algae's growing on it, it's kind of cool. Once again, these are cell phone videos, so don't expect anything great. Driftwood, fake rock back there, some new plants I put in, and above that tank is my just another 40 gallon breeder. And it started out with red delta guppies, but I had them in with my killifish, and the killifish and the guppies did not get <coughs> did, did not get along. So they got their own tank after the trio I bought died. But before they died, the female, both of them, spit out just a couple of fry each. And this is what I've got left of those. Pretty good looking fish. Can't complain. They're not the red deltas, but look like some sort of snake skin. Always cool. Good looking fish anyway. Still happy. I've got my starlight plecos in here somewhere, and of course, as soon as I turn the camera on, they disappear. There's one of the couple of the more that look more like the red deltas. Some snail eggs, they're everywhere. A few live plants. I thought I saw my quarry cat. There he is. Got three or four salt and pepper quarries in here. I've had them for about a year. They're kind of cool. Oh, little, another little fry in there. There he is. Man, I really wish those plecos were out. Because they are pretty cool. Still really young, really small, but really nice looking. Hey, what do we got there? One of those pleco caves I got from my aquarium box. Yeah, they'll like that. They'll like it. Another quarry hiding under there. Him and his guppy buddy. Well, maybe we'll see one of those. There's just the tail. You just barely see them under there. Very quick. Might be able to get him from the other side. Mm -hmm. There's Neela. My little sweetheart. And my other helper, Cooler. Cooler's Aquatics. This is not today, man. Not today. These are my koi. My babies. Nope, I just spooked it. Doitsu with a blue sapphire. The pure white with the blue scales on the back. Just about a 
not quite a year old, maybe. Well, probably a year old. I have I haven't had them quite a year, but the fish are probably at least a year old. The biggest one being 10, 12 inches maybe. The smallest one's probably around four or five. Quite a difference in males and females. But they tend they seem to know when I have the camera out because they do not want a good picture. My photos, my DIY filter, the cobbled up light. Here is the killifish tank. I think they were like a Florida flagfish. They keep this tank kind of nasty looking. They seem to like it. Java fern in the back. Some driftwood, some almond leaves. A male and a female. They're neat to watch. They're fun. It's right beside my desk, my computer. Over here we've got some quarry cats and some green dragon plecos. Quarry cats have bred once the other cave from my aquarium box. Some driftwood, some nasty black algae. You just kind of hang out and chill. Blow them to tank with that light. And it's actually got a fish that I saved from fishing over the last summer. I didn't even know I had it. It was a really small baby bluegill. So I just kept him and I'll feed him and take him back to the river in the spring. Here's the set of uh, koi angelfish that just bred. I'll show you the eggs here in a second because when I walked in the room and realized they had just finished breeding, there was eggs all over the piece of corian I have in there. They started to chow down like they hadn't eaten days. So I decided to pull the eggs and put them in a rearing jar. Less than 24 hours old. Some of them are still clear. Some of them are white. I don't know. I haven't got... There's the other angelfish, the oddball. I haven't got to do much research. I've been just got up. been doing water changes and feeding today. There's the other rearing jar for a just in case. Instead of putting chemicals in the water, I decided to throw some catapa leaves, Indian almond leaves in. He's not happy. She, he, is not happy. I'm recording. So, say hi to YouTube, buddy. That one's pretty. That one is pretty. I like the red eyes. But, I'll find him a mate at some point. Ordered four, you know, you, they send you five. Well, out of the four that I ordered, the five that I received, two of them have become breeding pairs. So, I am tickled to death with that. And look who's hanging out up here. One of my blue seam plecos. See if we can get a little of oh, the glare. Man, those things are nice. I've lost one so far, so there should be five in there. It's taking a rest. Yeah. I like those. There's that tank from this side, so I can see both sides of the tank. You can kind of watch it. No background. Just a couple sponge filters. My medicine rack and the nets in the background. Right in front of that, this is my kind of impromptu little stand I built for the hatcheries, the jars, over there's my other buddy we'll get to in a second. There's the first breeding pair of angels that I had. They're both in a 55. No eggs. Below them is my goldfish that have spawned bunch of fry in there. Probably can't see them very well either.
but I'll show them as they grow. And this is the Cory Cat and Pleco tank. It's probably about 20 Pleco or 20 Plecos, yeah, I wish. 20 bronze and green Corys. There's my pet store Pleco that's growing up nice and giant. Thought I just saw a Cory Cat cry, maybe go cruising around. A lot of times if I'm slow, I can catch them all in there. Kind of hanging out everywhere. They like digging in the rocks. A couple little caves. I've got some uh, clown plecos in there as well. There's a little tiny frog. This one down in the rock. A couple little fry under there. The clown plecos, and I've got a pretty rare, I think it's called a gold dust, gold something pleco. We're now on the endangered species list, so I won't be getting or seeing any more of those. There's one of the fry, keeping the driftwood clean. Found that driftwood fishing. Brought it home, seasoned it for about six months, soaked it, and then dropped it in here. I figured that would make a very nice place for some plecos to hang out. <clears throat> Plenty of food. And the last tank in this room is my little buddy. We'll see where he's at. There he is. He is another savior from the river. He is a Crawdad is blue with a red spot on each side, right in the middle. I didn't know I had him either. Came in out of bait fishing one night and I found him and that little bluegill, and both of them were about an inch long. So I kind of just threw him in a tank and said, We'll see how you grow. And he's grown quite a bit. He's pretty cool. Because at first I threw two, just two tiny little endlers in there. That's one of them right there, the male with the black tail. And one female. And all of these other endlers have come from those two original little fry that I put in that I thought maybe the crawdad would eat. But, no, he's just chilling back there in the corner. He's pretty cool. But, that's pretty much it. My fish room. Now, under there, that's the brine shrimp hatchery. I'm sure everybody's seen pictures. There's my buddy Cooler, my helper Neela. So remember, if you like the videos, if you want to see how these little baby fish turn out, hit that like and subscribe button because there will definitely be more videos. Thank you and have a great day.